Okay. How you doing, guys? Well, this one, I'm gonna be documenting this because every time I do something without filming, it turns out to be very, very nice. And then I don't have a video for that. So I'm just gonna be taking video of this one because not sure what's gonna happen, okay? I, I got an idea of what I'm looking for, but I honest don't know what's gonna happen. So I already have a, a red lay, lay, layer on the base. This is a typical house paint. Uh, PPG diamond, this is red. That's mixed with uh, flotterol and water. And, and that's it. Then on my three cup in one cup, I will be using uh, black, which is the typical artist love. This time with poor media, the one that I do, no silicone. Um, then the center is gonna be cadmium orange from Soho. The middle part is gonna be a mix of Artist Love Aqua Green and Artist Love Metallic Cobalt Blue. Oh. Uh, and then I'm gonna be doing something with the white, which is the injection. Uh, this is only uh, Artist Love with Flutterol plus water and the same here on the black one, okay? so. This is what I'm going to be doing. Let's see what happens. I'm going to be doing a waterfall this time instead of a kissing pool or something like that. So I'm looking for something to keep my canvas a little elevated. What I normally use is a bunch of cups. I think this will help because I don't want much of those, much of that red paint let me see if i do the pour this way okay that, that's perfect so i'm gonna lift the canvas in that position i hope that you guys can see there yeah i'm gonna be moving those bottles out of the way and you can start seeing the that it's moving. So now let's begin with uh, the pour. If it goes too fast, then I will stop and move, change cups, maybe many cups there. So we'll see. wait for that to develop and to move almost to the end of the canvas there and then we're gonna begin doing the injection in the base of the cup where the paint went out. Can you believe me? Yeah, I'm doing this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at that. Nice. All right. There we go. Let's begin this time doing something different. This is the first time I'm going to be injecting black paint. So here we go. Nothing 
out of the extraordinary happened there. So let's do it the other way then, the white. question is, is that enough or shall I keep it to the sides also? Uh, I got no idea. I'm liking it. I'm liking it the way it is right now. Yeah. Let's see how it looks this way. that part there, it's going to be looking better, you see? Nice. Very nice. I like how the red corner there with the black, you see, work. And the combination of colors is different. So I like it, I like it, I like it very much. I'm gonna just leave it there. This is gonna be a short video. This is a good opportunity to let you know that I will be showing this a little later when it's a little more dry and settle to see what else happened on cells in that middle section and also to advise or to tell you guys that if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet uh, please do so i will be doing a draw um several paintings that i will be no, well, not several, two or three paintings that I will be giving away when I reach 500, which I'm very close. Uh, on my next videos, I will be showing you guys uh, what I mean, you know, what, what, what paints are going to be there. So it's very simple to, to register. You just go to radacrylic.com and in the contact section, send me, an e send me a message. 
instantly I received the message and I put you in the in the draw. Uh, I will be doing my first live when I'm selecting who's gonna win. And after that live, I'm gonna be starting to do the, um, how you call that? Uh, selling, selling paints online to the best person who offers money. I forgot the name for that, bid, bid, yeah, bidding. So I hope you like it. Uh, we'll show it to you later on. Thank you for jo thank you for joining me. Take care.